Hey there, fifth grade, how's everybody doing today? And welcome back to another school year. My name is Mr. Renzi, math teacher from Wedgwood Elementary School. And today we will have our very first remote learning math lesson of the school year. So let me shrink myself into the corner as we get started today. So today we are going to be doing grade five, lesson 1.1. And this lesson is the introduction to the student reference book, which appears online. And for this activity, you will need math journal pages two to three. So for this activity today, you can do it right in your math journal, or I'm going to show you how you can do it right in Connect Ed. So you can have a choice of whatever works best for you today. All right, so let's see how we're gonna learn this. So the first thing is, you may be familiar with Connect Ed. Connect Ed is the online math program that goes with our in-school math program. So our paperback journal is also available online through Connect Ed. All of our games are available in Connect Ed. So today we're going to take a look at Connect Ed, how to enter it, and then we're going to look at the online student reference book. Now because we're going to be focusing on that student reference book today, I wanted to tie in some important text features that we're going to be using when we venture into the online reference book. There's going to be some three big parts to it that are going to be important when we need to find information in this reference book. We'll first see that there's a table of contents. Remember that a table of contents is usually found at the beginning and it kind of lets you know the big ideas that appear in a book, especially a reference book. We'll also have a glossary. A glossary, usually found at the end of a book, online contains all the definitions of important vocabulary words. So we might need to look up the meaning of a math term. And finally, we'll also be using the index. The index usually appears at the back, and the index contains all of the information that is in a book. All of those topics and subtopics that are mentioned. And the index is available in alphabetical order. And next to the topic or the subtopic are all the page numbers that you can find more information on. So these are three really important components or text features of our student reference book for math. Now, our McGraw-Hill Education app is how we are going to enter into Connect Ed. But I, before we go there, I want to show you that your paperback reference book that you all should have has pages two and three available to you. And pages two and three are titled Student Reference Book Scavenger Hunt. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to be solving some of these problems. But in order to solve these problems, we're going to have to use our student reference book. We're going to have to not only find out what the problem is asking us or how to do it, we're going to have to solve the problem and then we're going to have to cite the page number from the student reference book that will help us to find the problem. So one way that you can do this is right there in your math journal that sits in front of you. Okay. The other way that you can solve this problem is that you, or these pages, are that you can head into the McGraw-Hill Education Connect Ed app. So let me show you how that works. The first thing that you do is you're going to head to the WTPS page. When you're at the WTPS page, you're going to hover over the word students, and then you're going to go down the class link and click on it. It's going to ask you to sign in. You're going to want to sign in with Microsoft. It's the top option. And that's where you're going to put in your school email and your lunch pin. 
Once you enter ClassLink, all different school apps that you might be using this year are going to be seen. In order to use Connect Ed, you're going to go to the McGraw-Hill Education app, and then you're going to go ahead and click on it. Now, when you're in Connect Ed, you're going to notice that a lesson is going to pop up. Well, you have to make sure that you are on the lesson that we're learning in class. So for today, we are on lesson 1-1. So in order to make sure I'm on that right lesson, if it doesn't appear automatically, I head up into Menu. I can scroll down, and it's going to tell me all my lessons. When I click on All My Lessons, I go to Unit 1, and I want to find 1-1, one, one, and it's going to say Introduction to the student reference book. Now that's how I can make sure that I get all the activities that go with the lesson that I'm learning. So when I go to lesson 1-1, one, one, you're going to notice that on my front page, there is my student reference book. So I'm going to click on that. The cool thing is it opened a new reader, a new window for me to work off of. So I can head back to where I was, or I can head into my reference book just by clicking on those window tabs. So that'll be really helpful as we go back and forth if you choose to do everyday math online. The first thing I like to do with my reference book is in the left-hand corner, you're going to notice I have a little table of contents. And here, my table of contents gives me all of my different options. Notice that some of those options are the glossary and the index. Very important, two of our text features that we just talked about. So I can go into the glossary, and the glossary is going to give me a whole bunch of math vocabulary words, alphabetical starting with any number words, and then alphabet, the letter A's, and then the B's. I can also head to my index. My index also listed alphabetically lists all the different topics. Addition, area, arrays, lots of different bar graphs, baseball multiplication, one of the connected games. So in our index, we have everything that's contained within that reference book. So that's a pretty powerful feature in our upper left-hand corner where our table of contents are located. Now, let me show you if I wanted to do the student reference book right here in Connect Ed. This big box here that says Lesson 1 has all of the components. When I go and click on it, it's going to take me to all of my choices. So if you think about a math lesson, you have that warm-up that you start with, and then there's the math message that kind of is the springboard. And then the main lesson for today is called the scavenger hunt. So when I click on number four, the scavenger hunt, it's going to start to mirror what my math journal looks like. Here was my math journal. Problem number one, five meters equals blank centimeters. Here's my Connect Ed. It's exactly the same thing. So I can do it either in here and write on it, or I can do it at right in my paper journal. Your choice. How would I write in it? There's two choices. At the bottom, I have a pen. When I go and click on that pen, that will allow me to just write. If I want to get rid of that writing, I hit these arrows the circular arrows, and I clear it, and it'll start me over. I can also use text. So by clicking on text, I can create a text box, and then I can go ahead and type in my answer, whatever it may be. Okay, if you don't like where it is, again, you can get rid of it, put in a new text box so that you're typing right where it needs to go. Now, let's suppose I wasn't a very good reader. This little speaker symbol will read the problem to me. If I was in my text mode or if I was in my pen mode, 
I want to go ahead and go back into my screen mode because that will allow me to click on my speaker. Let's hear. Scavenger hunt. One, solve the problem. Use your student reference book to find information about the problem. Record the page number. Five meters equals blank centimeters. Page blank. So I want to try and solve this problem. Now maybe I'm a really good mathematician and I already know the answer to this. And that's great if you do. You'll earn three points for the correct answer. But if you can tell me what reference book page number helps you to solve that problem, you earn five points. So it's more important to be able to know how to use the reference book than it is to solve these types of problems. Let's check. Let me go to my reference book. When I'm in my reference book, I want to look up a keyword. Well, in my problem, my keyword here is meters. So I want to look in the index and I want to head to the M's. So let's see. So far I'm with the, the A's and the C's. And let's see if I jump ahead a couple pages. Now at the D's, I click in the arrow, should be able to move on. I finally come to my M's. And here is the word meter, page 213. So now I'm going to go to page 213 in my reference book. All I do is type in that page number. It's going to take me right to it. Oh, and here it is. 100 centimeters equals one meter. Well, let's go and do that problem. Five meters equals how many centimeters? Well, if one meter equals 100 centimeters, then five meters equals 500 centimeters. And I found that on page 213. Now we know this problem is correct, so that means I've earned three points for solving the problem right and five points for knowing the page number. So now I want to save my work so my teacher can see it, and I'm going to hit this little down arrow. Save. Now my teacher can check my work. Now I want to go to problem number two. You see this little screen? I go to screen. Two. Once I'm on screen two, my second problem comes up. Here it is. So now I have my second problem to solve. So now I want to look for 300 millimeters equals how many centimeters, so I head back to my reference book. Now if I'm not sure where the word appears on a page, I can always type it up in this little search in the corner. And what it'll end up doing is it'll help to highlight where I might find that word. So notice it did centimeters here. And look at that. 10 millimeters equals 1 centimeter. So now on page 213, if 10 millimeters equals 1 centimeter, 300 millimeters will equal 30 centimeters. And again, I used page 213. So I've earned, for solving my problem correct, three points. And for finding the correct page, I've earned five points. So now that I finished problem number two, I'm going to click on that down arrow to save my work. In order to get to the next problem, I go to screen three, and then up is going to pop some new problems for me to try to solve. Now for these problems here, you're going to want to look up 
parentheses because it's going to remind you what you have to do first when you have parentheses in a number model. So you're going to go ahead and complete the scavenger hunt by doing the problems that are both in your journal and are appearing right here in Connect Ed. So, once you finish all of those problems, make sure you click save at the very end because what's going to happen is the very last problem number nine is going to ask you to write your problem points and your page points for each problem. Now, we did the first two problems together, so we know we've earned eight possible points for each. The most points we can earn would be 64 points. So you will be emailed the answers so that you can check your work and calculate the number of points that you have earned. Remember that the main goal in this lesson is to practice using the student reference book. So don't, do not get too stressed out if the math becomes hard or it becomes difficult finding stuff within the reference book. That's important to say. So remember that when you log into your class link and you head to the McGraw-Hill app, you are going to get to your main screen and your main screen will give you an activity. You want to make sure you find the correct lesson. Today we're on lesson 1-1. When you click on 1-1, the fourth activity will be the scavenger hunt. and then you're ready to go. Notice that it saved all of my work. So I can always come back to get and do it again. When I want to find my student reference book, my student reference book appears right on my main screen. So on my main screen, I will be able to get to my reference book by clicking that home key and here's my reference book. So when I open that up, my reference book becomes available and then I can go back and forth from what I need to do. All right, my fifth grade friends, today you're going to try to become more familiar with ConnectEd, practice using the student reference book as you participate in the student reference book scavenger hunt and be on the lookout because we'll send you the answers so that you can check to see how many points you have earned. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.